Okay, hello everybody and welcome to my first um, Visual Basic 2010 tutorial. Now this is going to be the first in a series of videos that I will be doing. Um, I actually have done a video series on these tutorials on a different channel, but I decided to do a new series with um, Visual Basic 2010 and I'm eventually going to be showing you how to develop for Windows 8 and how to use stuff with the Metro UI interface and everything but not yet. So today I'm just going to show you how to where to get Visual Basic and we are going to write a simple program or actually a couple simple programs. So the first thing you'll need to do is download the program from microsoft.com slash visual studio slash all this stuff. I'll put a link in the description. So just download and install that. Um, it's pretty simple. If you can't do that, you probably shouldn't be programming a computer. Anyway, um, so once you install it, it should take a while to install and then um, when you first open it, it will take a while because it needs to initialize everything for first use. But eventually you should make it to this screen. This is the home screen. This is what will come up every time you open up Visual Basic. So it has all your recent projects and if you're, work if you're working on a lot of projects, this will actually be really useful. So. For now, oh, also the toolbox is going to be minimized like this. Just hover over that and then click on the little pin thing. This will give you quick access to all of your tools as you need them later. So we just want to click on new project. And let's name this YouTube Hello World Tutorial. And let's click OK. So now um, it's now Visual Basic is going to create this new project for you. So as you can see, it gives you this form, and this is basically what your window is going to look like right now. So let's click Start Debugging, and here you go. You've got this nice looking form here. But that's not very functional. So now all of these tools that I told you to pin are going to come into play. So let's drag on a button. Let's just place it right there. Okay. So as you can see, it says Button 1. We don't really want to say button one, so we'll just select the button and let's type hello world. Okay, and I think you've already got an idea of what I'm doing because this is what you always do as your first programming tutorial. So then, oh, I probably should have told you what I was doing there. Okay, so then you just want to drag in that label like that, like I did before, and just place it right there. Okay, so now it's time, well actually let's run it again, and I'll just show you. So when you click this, nothing happens. And that's because we need to hook up this button so that it actually does something to the label. So for this, it will require a little bit of coding. So let's double click on the button to get into the code. So as you can see, it says, it automatically sets this all up, and it says private sub button one underscore click, and then all of this other complicated stuff. You're not going to need to worry about any of this for now. All you need to worry about is the part between underneath private sub and above end sub. That's the part you're going to type. So let's give ourselves a few lines. And let's say, um, so basically this is private sub button one under underscore click is basically just saying if button one is clicked, then we want the text of label one to change to hello world. So we'll just say if button one is clicked, then label one uh, label one dot text equals hello world so just type it just like that so as you can see this is pretty simple you're just saying the text of label one is going to equal hello world so let's run this and there you go a hello world program already so that's pretty good but it's not that useful because you're never going to want a label just to say hello world when you click a button you want it to say, well, I guess whatever you want it to say. So let's try that. First, we need some way to get input. And the best way to do this in Visual Basic is to use a text box. So let's just drag in text box. Now, basically, a text box is, well, the name is pretty self-explanatory. Um, it just allows you to input text. And the text box is... It's, um, you don't need to assign variables or anything right now, so I'll be talking about those in probably in the next episode. 
But let's just put this. So I'm just making it look nice. I probably just made it look worse. That's okay. Okay. Anyway, so let's get back in this code. So we can delete this because we don't need that. Um. Okay. So basically, what we want to happen right now is, rather than having it um, label one dot text equals hello world, we need label one dot text to equal um, text box one dot text. So that's that's basically just how you do it. Label one, uh, oops, label one dot text equals text box one dot text. And there you go. Let's try running this. Let's type hello world. And there you go. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? And by the way, guys, um, I'm sorry if you think this tutorial is going a little slow, but I need to go slowly just in case someone's never used it before. And I promise that these tutorials are going to um, slowly become significantly faster and more advanced. But you just have to be patient. And um, I'll be releasing the tutorials pretty uh, quickly. I'm probably going to record a couple at a time. So yeah, just please subscribe so that you can keep updated with them and just keep a lookout for them. Okay, but anyway, back to the actual tutorial. Okay. Um, oh, so that was pretty good. Uh, let's try... Um, okay, there you go. I had to, I'm sorry, I had to pause and I didn't actually pause. I just had to, never mind. <laughs> okay, let's make this something more like a password box. So say um, whenever I type in hello, this label will say welcome. And whenever I type in anything else, this label will say not welcome. So let's try that. So basically we need to say, if the text of this text box equals hello, then label one dot text equals um, welcome. And so as you can see with Visual Basic, everything's pretty much how you think it is. So if uh, text box one dot text equals hello, then label one dot text equals welcome. So there you go. So now just try running this and nothing happens. Hello. And there you go. But we want to make it so that something happens if uh, you type something wrong. So now we can use an else statement. So we can say else label, oops, label, oh my gosh, sorry. Hold on, let me just adjust that. There we go. Label one dot text. Oh, okay. Text equals um, not welcome. Okay, so now let's try running it. Not welcome. Hello. Welcome. So there you go. Now you've already created a very simple password form. So I hope you guys have already seen that Visual Basic is really a great way to get started in programming. Um, it's a great language and you can do some really advanced stuff with it after you get used to it. So, in the next tutorial, I'll probably be showing you how to create a password box that actually makes you log in to another form. So, if you guys would like to see that, please subscribe. It'll probably be coming out pretty soon because I'm planning to record a few episodes at a time. So, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Um, and also, I just want to say that the style I'm going to be teaching the other episodes in is going to be a little bit different. This one was really just an introduction, so I was trying to move quickly and just... Because usually, um, I found with my last tutorial series, with the first one, you get a lot of people just seeing what it was like, and then after that, generally people will start to actually... Those are people who actually um, watch it after the first tutorial generally are actually paying attention and learning everything rather than just trying to make whatever you're showing. So I'm going to be talking a lot about the concepts so that you can make pretty much whatever you want and I hope that I can help you guys. Also I promise that I'll reply to any of the comments so please just leave them there and I will try to help you with any problems that you might have. But anyway, 
for now. My name is Chris Shackle, and I'll see you in my next video.